starts with a Denver 7 exclusive, a jailhouse interview with a murder suspect. He's one of the 10 people arrested in connection to the murder of two Colorado Springs teenagers. The El Paso County Sheriff's Office is still searching for two more suspects this morning. Denver 7's Mike Iliopoulos went to Colorado Springs for this story. And Mike, what did this guy have to say? Well, Mitch, we weren't allowed to bring in a camera. All we could take in was a notepad and pen. We spoke by video phone with 18-year-old Joseph Arthur Rodriguez. He told me he had nothing to do with these murders. Flowers and pictures of 15-year-old Derek Greer and 16-year-old Natalie Partita rest on the side of this rural road. This is where the teens' bodies were found on Sunday morning, March 12th. About a 25-minute drive away, 10 people sit behind bars. The El Paso County Sheriff's Office filed charges on them. Rodriguez spoke to us. He told me it's been frustrating because investigators charged him with two counts of first-degree murder, two counts of second-degree kidnapping, aggravated robbery, and child abuse. He said he wasn't involved. Rodriguez says he was at home the night the two teens were killed, and he has witnesses to prove it. He told me he never met the two teens, but he admitted he worked with Partita's sister at this McDonald's in Colorado Springs. He talked about his past involvement in gangs. That's something he wanted to leave behind and start a new life. He says he got his own place and a new job. He denies knowing any of the other suspects, except for two of them. He said they were locked up with him in juvenile detention. I asked him if he had a message for the victim's families. He said, my condolences go to the families. I hope people don't look at me as a bad person once I'm clear of the charges. The sheriff's office won't say what the motive is for the double murder as the investigation continues. Uh, we've had engagement from the community. We've have had compassion from the community and understanding because we haven't been able to release a whole lot about the investigation. The sheriff's office adds investigators will make sure justice is served. And Rodriguez says he plans to plead not guilty to all his charges. Again, investigators are after two more people in this case, so Mitch, the investigation continues this morning.